Antipathy Sympathy. All right, here we go. I hope you like me. Or you don't. Antipathy Sympathy. I said that wrong. Welcome to this channel. Eighth level enchantment, casting time one hour, range 60 feet, components verbal somatic material, either a lump of alum soaked in vinegar for the antipathy effect, or a drop of honey for the sympathy effect. Duration, 10 days. Before we even get to the details of the spell, there are very few spells like this, as in the blank slash blank, where you have two options. Uh, there's a few others we'll get to, like enlarge and reduce, and some others, but... I don't know. I, I like spells like that, where it's just a inverse of effects. Kind of, at least in theming. Mechanics-wise, they're a bit different. The spell attracts or repels creatures of your choice. You target something within range, either a huge or smaller object or creature, or an area that is no larger than a 200-foot cube. And specify a kind of intelligent creature, such as red dragons, goblins, or vampires. You invest the target with an aura that either attracts or repels the specified creature for the duration. Choose antipathy or sympathy as the aura's effect. Now to the oars themselves. Antipathy. The enchantment causes creatures of the kind you designated to feel an intense urge to leave the area and avoid the target. When such a creature can see the target or comes within 60 feet of it, the creature must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become frightened. The creature remains frightened while it can see the target or is within 60 feet of it. Ooh, I don't remember that one. That's good. Yeah, we're going to talk about it now. There are so many spell effects that involve fear or frightened. That's like, okay, yeah, once line of sight is broken... You can either make the save again, or you're just no longer frightened of it. But the within 60 feet, they do not see you, or even know you're there. If you're just within 60 feet of them, they have that urge of, oh no. So you can be invisible, you can be behind cover, they could be in a crate, you could be in a crate or box or something. While these are very specific, the fact that this is an option that you basically have a 60 foot frightened radius, with no line of sight cover... That's really good. While frightened by the target, the creature must use its movement to move to the nearest safe spot from which it can't see the target. If the creature moves more than 60 feet from the target and can't see it, the creature is no longer frightened. But the creature becomes frightened again if it re regains sight of the target or moves within 60 feet of it. Again! And moving back in and out for a full... For a full 10 days. We haven't even gotten to th sympathy yet. 10 days. No concentration. It, yes, it's 8th level, but that's ridiculous. Even in, gosh, even with stuff like gritty realism, that still overlaps over the long rest. Sympathy. The enchantment causes the specified creature to feel an intense urge to approach the target while within 60 feet of it, or able to see it. When such a creature- or able to see it. God, that's the inverse of- okay. <laughs> when such a creature can see the target or comes within 60 feet of it, the target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or use its movement on each of its turns to enter the area or move within reach of the target. When the creature has done so, it can't willingly move away from the target. If the target damages or otherwise harms an affected creature, the affected creature can make a wisdom saving throw to end the effect as described below. Uh, this one... When it comes to enemies or types of creatures, it's a little more niche. Because in most of the time when in combat scenarios you want monsters and creatures to leave you alone, or just to have the frightened condition, that's pretty good. Sympathy, just getting them close to you? I'd say it'd probably be... Especially because of 60 feet. Casting this on, like, a big fighter or barbarian on a flying creature or something with high mobility to forcing them to come to them. But then if they take it attacked by the target... Wait a minute... If the target damages or otherwise harms an affected creature, the affected creature can make a wisdom saving throw to end the effect as described below. So, you cast this on one of the fighters or barbarians who just keeps using the dodge action. And then the other melee classes just come in to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> That's the way around that. It still won't make any of the saves. It'll just be stuck there. It can't leave. Ending the effect. If an affected creature ends its turn while not within 60 feet of the target or able to see it, the creature makes a wisdom saving throw. On a successful save, the creature is no longer affected by the target and recognizes the feeling of repugnance or traction as magical. In addition, a creature affected by the spell is allowed another wisdom saving throw every 24 hours while the spell persists. A creature that successfully saves against the effect is immune to it for one minute, after which it can be affected again. That's great. That's great. Even if they attempt to save out of it, the one minute, 
they can still be then hit by it again. For a 10 day spell, this is more long term effects, but it's still not that bad. So many things are line of sight or within 60 feet. This, and I say that it is a lot more situational, especially the sympathy one, but the antipathy? I remember that specifically being used in one of the big boss fights that I ran, and the fact it wasn't concentration helped a ton. And just like, oh, there's a bunch of these types of demons that are coming onto the field, or like coming towards us. And I'm like, oh, we can't deal with these CR14 things while also fighting this thing. Casting antipathy, set it onto the small platform that they were on, and basically locked off a region of the map to them. It's good, especially because... There were so few areas to break line of sight. There was a lot of open plains. Oh, man. Those things never came back. The fight was over. Good spell. 8 out of 10. Not for this one, honestly. Just the 10 day... The 10 day can be any target, or location, or object. It's not a gold cost... Does take an hour to cast. Still. I'm I'm changing my decision. Nine out of ten.